Hey guys, I think I'm halfway with my pond. It's taken quite some time to get to this point. I had to put a liner down. Whenever I went through a tornado, this entire pond liner was in those trees and we got that out. So anyway, we're moving forward. I've been filling this pond up with my garden hose. So luckily I'm on a well, so my meter water bill is not going on, but I'm draining my well. This is probably half full. We are about eight foot deep in the middle. And what you're seeing is the rock around here has the filtration system in it. Now where you're seeing the lines that Eugenio's been running, that's going to be where we call like a bubbler. It's gonna shoot out water, jets of water randomly all the way around. So the pond keeps circulating, keeping it nice and healthy because the goal I'm trying to get done is not have a pond, but make this a swimming pond because my wife wants a swimming pool. I don't wanna have a pond and a swimming pool. Got my work cut out for me to keep this thing looking nice and clean, have a sandy beach over there, maybe a little pool house, and that might satisfy my wife because I think a pond is way better than a pool. So let's get going. I'll show you guys all the stuff that we have to do, what's been done and what needs to get done. And thank goodness I brought in Logan from Lawrence, Kansas. He's with Total Habitat. He's a true pond expert. And I got him here working out all the details so I don't mess anything up. Since we're in between getting materials for the pond, I had Eugenio and Wayne and his guys do some work around the property. We got the greenhouse put together. So now we're taking some of this fabric that was left over on the pond and I had Eugenio go all the way around it so we can gravel it, make it look nice. So here he is. Eugenio, you can hop in the back. Not than that, he wants to hop in the trunk. Come on. How far did you get Eugenio? On the, is all the tarp down? All the tarp down right there. Oh, I thought you needed staples. I went and got staples. But from... Up there, up on the there. hill? Oh, yep. let me, I'm gonna drive down and see how you did. Everybody in? All right, amigos. Vamanos. Vamanos, here we go. Eugenio put the top on the greenhouse. He did that super fast. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. That's all my pond liner. Bueno, Eugenio. I'm going to drive around. See, take a look. Look at here. Can I drive on it like yeah. I'm doing? Yeah. Too late. I already drove. Look at this. This is luxurious, Eugenio. Man. Let's see if I can make the turn. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. All right. So now I'm going to call in for my gravel. This yeah. looks good. We have a lot of material left, don't we? For, yeah. from the liner. Oh, yeah. But look at that, it's a whole piles of it over there. So I told Eugenio to take it down the bottom of the hill and he dumped it right here at my chicken coop. Now we gotta move it again. No, they're good. Wait, how come you're getting out? We're, we're not here yet. Hold on, I'm just giving a tour. What happened? Your foot stuck or is that a chicken? No. Oh, my oh, your foot. All right, now we're gonna work on the pond. I keep driving my mower into the ditch. As I come down the hill, I wanna see how close I can get without going in the ditch. I haven't figured that out yet, so I keep going in. I blew the tire, so now I got it fixed. And Eugenio's my NASCAR guy. I broke the stem. I went down the ditch and busted that off, so it's fixed again. You have your impact. Okay, NASCAR Eugenio, I'll have him finish it up. Okay, let's see how Eugenio did. I'm just gonna go park it out of the way. That's the ditch I keep going in. So I have to keep my wife on call with the Polaris to come pull me out. So I'm gonna start hand mowing around there so that I don't keep blowing out tires. That's what she tells me to do. All right, so I'm gonna have these guys, they know. You've told them what they yep. need to do? Yeah, they get it. They're like, oh, this is easy. This okay, is all right, I just don't like guys standing it's around. So as right. long as we got a plan, Logan's got Eugenio going the right direction. Hopefully the stuff, we laid it all out. It's been sitting out in the sun for about three hours, three, four hours. So it wasn't a big loop. Now it's stretched out. So now we're gonna lay it around. What exactly, this is gonna be the water flow. Yeah, this is the jet that'll displace the surface of the water. And then with this, oh, this is where, you, random spots you'll add yeah, the uh, we'll try uh, to space them out pretty equally. not a bubbler but they're like little jets that yep. circulate the Just water displace the surface oh, of the displace water. it okay oh, yeah. and this is all going to lay down right on top of the rock that we have down there already yep. okay the perforated pipe is, it's our is, bog line so it's our it, it's what pulls in all the water and filters the pond and then it gets discharged through that so we're pulling in sort of the the colder water from the bottom and pushing it up to the top where the water's a lot warmer just to kind of moderate that temperature too okay and what 
we did last night is we trenched everything back here and that's where the pump house is going to be to hide all the equipment. And then what we have to do still is create a waterfall, right? So the yeah. water that comes to the pump, we have to get it back in the, the pond. Part. And the best part is why not make it a water feature, yeah. right? Versus going back underwater. And that's going to be the pipe itself that points up towards the surface oh, of the water. So and you're going to cut those in a lot of pieces then? Yep and then run them up. Yes, all right, all right, this is all the stuff, the under workings, right? I suppose underwater workings to make the pond function and breathe so it doesn't yeah. become stale. I kind of right? refer to them as the organs. The organs yeah. of the pond, okay. The pond itself is gonna become its own sort of living, functioning ecosystem. So I always just refer to the plumbing as the organs for it. Well, this would be great. So the more the water turns, more things helps habitat, helps the growing of plants, healthy for fish, makes the water clean. Yes, sir. We gotta keep it clear, otherwise my wife isn't getting in it. <laughs> and then I gotta build a pool, which I don't wanna have to do. I want this to be my pool pond. Looks like Eugenio's got a pretty good handle on what's going on. I'd like to supervise from above. This is my job. What we are trying to do, prevent, is any punctures of the liner. Even though this is pretty heavy duty, they don't want anybody, if Eugenio and the guys are walking on it, put a hole in it, we'll never be able to find it. So we're just being safety. My job is good at cleaning up. So that's what I'm doing here. So last night we worked on cutting back, again, this liner, pulling it back because they had it all tucked in. And what was missed was these compression plates, which are pass-throughs. And there's one on both sides, and this is waterproof silicone. This is basically like a cutting board that they cut. And so all the water is going to flow through here down low because we didn't want the pipes. Remember, we want to keep everything down low, so it's going to pass through here and go out through the waterfall and back in again. All these pipes are going to get hooked up, and that's what they're working on with the uh, Schedule 40 PVC type piping, it's like plumbing, be the connection to make all this work. We, we did this the first time with not being well educated. We've now learned with Logan, we really want to make it look right, keeping everything below water, nothing above. Okay, they just got back from their bathroom break. I don't have a watch on, but it took a little longer than 10 minutes. I have to put a stop to that. Schedule 40, two inch and three inch. All right, let's go into town. In the meantime, maybe we'll have to get some hamburger buns because I'm going to feed these guys so they don't take off and go to lunch for an hour and a half. Eugenio, you all good? You went to the banyo? I swept everything up around here. And so the, Logan wants to tell you, when you put those, cut the pipes, make sure there's no dirt clods inside the pipe. All right, I'm going to go look for some more pipe. Anything else we need while we're there? Agua, I'll get a case of water. Okay, I'm back at Bomb Guards. And if you guys have watched in the past, Bomb Guards, there's a gal, Leanne, there that she's got it all going on, knows everything that's going on in the store. So maybe we'll run into her again. But I always say, if you're a home builder, you better better have a full tank of gas because all you do is drive around and pick up stuff. So let's go find some more pipes. Hi there. Uh, schedule 40 pipes all in the back, right? Yep. So, I don't know if you have a bomb guard in your market, but this is kind of a farm community store. It has everything. You can try to stump this guy. You can buy shirts, hats, gloves, trailer hitches, tools. We're here for one thing, schedule 40 pipe, three inch and two inch. You can even buy a little chicken here if you want to. I'll see if there's any on the shelf. They don't last very long. This is where they usually keep the chickens, right here, but they're gone. To prove it, we've got chicken feeders, so you know we're in the right department. Anyway, enough of the sidebars. The problem with this is somebody grabs these things and they don't know what, it's not the right one, then they just set it in the wrong spot. So let's go see if we can find, here's, see? I found that there and it's supposed to be down there. Told you these guys don't put these things in the right spot. Okay, so that's three inch. I need two of those. Make sure they fit. It's kind of like measuring twice, cutting once. So, perfect. Good. All right. It all works out perfectly. So now, let's see what I can, let's see what I can knock over in the store. I got to make a turn here pretty soon. Here, this looks like the cash register aisle. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Hang on. Oh. Are you getting this? I think I see a snicker bar over here. No, it's down this aisle. It's down this aisle. Okay, who wants to check me out? 
Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, coming through. Excuse me, Eagle. Sorry, thank crosses. <clears throat> All right, it's supposed to be four. There we go. <clears throat> All right, our work is done here. Okay, I just got back from the store and I noticed when I pulled up that Eugenio and the guys are using hand shovels to fill in a ditch that's three foot wide and four foot deep. I got to tell them I have the keys to the bobcat. Maybe that's the problem. They don't know how to start the bobcat. How come you guys are uh, filling in the ditch with shovels? Yeah, we got a skid loader right here. The keys are in my pocket. So they know what they're doing. They don't want to put too much dirt over top of all the pipes and, and break them. But I still think a bobcat would have been so much easier. Okay, you guys, since we've been going driving around town, these guys have been getting a lot of stuff done. These are the little jets that they cut on that pipe that we stretched out this morning, and they went through, and they've added these little fittings. They're probably every 20 feet or so, and this is what's going to be like a bubbler. It's going to produce water flowing out, which will keep the pond circulating, and we have this going all the way around the pond. That's exciting. They're getting a lot done. Now they're filling the ditch back in, and then the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to take this rock that we see here I have to get more and we're going to start filling in all that black liner so from the top down they want to try to get as much on the other side but that's going to be a little more difficult we'll see what we can do we'll have to come up with a system Eugene was pretty creative on being resourceful on how to make this work productively so we got that done moving forward it's a slow process but if we do it right this should be a healthy fun long-term pond swimming hole is what I want it to be so I don't have to build a swimming pool all right, so now we're at the backfill stage, guys. So we've got these manifolds all in place and you see them sticking out. That's all been compacted dirt. And my buddy Brad, who's got the tornado house we're gonna be working on, that'll be another video. He's helping me drive the Bobcat because he's so good at it, backfilling. And then uh, Wayne will is holding back the liner because we have to tuck that back in. So everything was undone. Now we're putting it all back together. The pipes are underground. We got them sticking up in the back. That's where I got to build probably like a little pool house for sure, a little equipment place because this is a year round pond. Swimming pool, right, Mary? That's my wife. It's going to be a year round swimming pond. We now are going to, this will be the input. These are the outputs from the pumps. This is going to run to my water feature. Remember, we need to have water that looks like it coming back. It's gotta come back out into the pond, but it's gonna be much more eye appealing if we have this big, huge water feature. So that'll come all the way around, go up to the top, have a water feature. And then this side goes around and filters and fills all the piping where we have the little jets coming out that's going to move water, have water movement. So we have all those jets. So everything now here is connected below. Now we're working on under the water stuff. And then we can start bringing in more rock and I can get the garden hose back out again and start filling this thing up. We just stomp on this. I think if this settles a little bit, we have rock on top, yeah. it's no big deal. That's the second time we've had to pull this liner out. The first time we had to go all the way around. Now we're just pulling out to get the fittings through, which I keep talking about. Once we get this all back in, now we can start putting the rock around it. I'm excited to put the garden hose in. You gotta tell me, I have to tell me how many days it took to get half full. Now, how many more days with the garden hose with no rain ever, not even in the forecast for the next 12 days to get it up to the top level. I'm saying it's gonna take a, I'm guessing at least a month.
So basically, when you're coming back to the pass-through with your poly, which is connected to your jet line, what a lot of people want to do is right off the bat, they want to glue these pieces on right here on both sides. Wrestle this poly onto these fittings, but there's a much easier way to do that. What you do is you put these fittings on the poly first, and then you find whatever your distance needs to be of rigid pipe, and you glue them on using the poly. You move it closer and you glue it on, rather than trying to force this thing over these barbs. What I've had coworkers do in the past, it makes it way more difficult for us, is they'll glue this on like that, and then all of a sudden, we meet back at this pass-through with this pipe and we have to wrench it over that rigid pipe. And we also have another one coming from another direction. So once we're trying to get both on, we're putting a lot of stress and tension right at the pass-through. And that's like the one thing you don't want to compromise when you're working on a project like this. Just to reiterate, you put these together first and then you connect it. Based on the height of the, the jets, depending on the water level, what we can do is instead of having them down, this is just how Gino arranged it. Conveniently, it's a threaded part, so we can aim this whole pipe backwards this way, bury this in to the dirt, and just have that pointing right up at the surface of the water. It's a lot of, lot of flexibility. So I thought everything was gonna be bubbling up down here, so we want just agitating the surface yep, of the water. Yep, exactly. The reason I left it so excessive is because it's probably gonna be different along the edge of the pond. So once you get everything buried up and you start to put that water in, you just trim the excess off. That's the concept with most things. So the same thing with the stream over there is we're gonna add a bunch of dirt so that then we can shave away and make our shape, you know? All right, I gotta order more, more rock. Oh yeah, you're gonna be ordering rock, rock like crazy. I didn't know how much work this was. We got a lot of guys helping. It seems to go in pretty good. The scary part is I gotta buy a lot more rock, which is very expensive. So we're trying to stretch it out as much as possible. We don't need two foot piles on top of stuff. So since we're filling the pond up, now they tell me they'd like to see some of this rock in there. Now they tell me, I'm not draining the pond. I'm just gonna throw it in like that. Anybody keeping track of this? Look at all that dust. So I'm gonna take Eugenio some of this water. I'm sure those guys are pretty parched. With that, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll definitely keep you posted on the progress on how we go with the pond. This is several stages to go. Today was basically getting all the filtration system in and that's done. Now we're doing the rock. So then we're gonna start making it pretty. And I gotta fill this pond up and I gotta figure out how to get it done. So thanks for watching on Brad the Builder. I'll see you guys on the next job site. Oh my God, this is just gonna take forever filling the pond like this. Like a, what, what? Oh, 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 I'm using the hose. What'd you think I was doing? <laughs>